Here's a gate problem from operational amplifiers and this is based on a 2 op amp circuit. So the problem is stated as follows. Assuming ideal op amps determine the output voltage at V1. So for this particular circuit we are interested in finding out the output at this node and what we have understood so far from our concept of ideal op amp is that the principle of virtual short will hold true and therefore if the voltage at this non-inverting input terminal is 3 volt then the voltage at the inverting input terminal will also be 3 volt for this op amp and for the second op amp if the voltage at this node is equal to 2 volt then the voltage at this node will also be equal to 2 volt. So this simply follows from the rule of virtual short. And then what we can do is if we look at the current, let's say I is the value of the current that is flowing from this branch, it gets diversified into two branches. So it, it can take this path and we can call this current as I1 as also it can take this path which we can call as I2. Note that because the op amp is an ideal one, therefore no current enters the input terminal of the op amp. And so the current I by applying KCL can be formulated as I is equal to I1 plus I2. And the next step is very simple. We go through the nodal equation and the nodal equation says that if this is the value for current I, then this current I can be represented as a voltage divided by the corresponding value of resistance. And so the voltage drop will be 0 volt minus of 3 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm. That is the value for current I. The value for current I1 can similarly be represented as the current is flowing from this node to this node and so voltage at this node is equal to 3 volt and the voltage at the other node is equal to V1. So this is 3 minus of V1 by 1 kilo ohm that is the current I1 and then finally you have I2 which can be written as it's flowing from this node. So this is 3 volts minus of 2 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm and therefore the expression becomes 0 minus 3 by 1 is equal to 3 minus of V1 by 1 plus 3 minus of 2 divided by 1 and we can go ahead with solving this little algebra and V1 turns out to be 7 volt. So note that Although this problem asked about the voltage at this node V1, as a homework problem you can try to find out what will be the voltage at the output of the second amplifier. So the way to proceed will be to consider this branch current, let's say this is I3, then there is another current flowing from this side which is I2, so I3 plus I2 must equal to I4 which is this current. So this is the value for I4 and if you solve it the only unknown will be the value for this output voltage. 